Hello, this is a tutorial from the video that you see on YouTube using the pblurp function on Cinema 4D. Got a lot of great comments, a lot of people asking uh, to know how to do this. So what we're going to be creating is uh, the basic layout for this animation right here. And when I say basic layout, what I'm going to show you how to do is basically create the text here and have it transform over to this side. What I'm not going to show you how to do is texture all of all of the materials and uh, set up the lighting and that kind of thing. If there's a demand for that sort of thing, then we can I can do that in another tutorial, perhaps after this. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is uh, start a new scene in Cinema 4D using File New and then create your text. So let's create a spline first and uh, it can be a text spline obviously and then we will change the text to cool and you can just leave it as the default font for now. And then we need to extrude that object so let's go up here and as long as the text is highlighted then we can click and hold this icon here and hold alt so I'm I'm holding my left mouse button and I'm holding alt and I'm gonna let go while holding alt on extrude nerbs and that will automatically take whatever selected text and place it inside the nerb and that will work for any of the functions um, and then while the extrusion is highlighted, let's change the start and end cap to fillet cap for both of them, just to give it kind of a, a bevel look. And let's change the radius to say three for for both of them, just so it's not quite so thick. But other than that, that that's good enough for now. Now let's duplicate that text. Let's just highlight it. Press Control C and paste it with Control V. And then we can label these if we'd like, but we're going to end up having to uh, combine them into a uh, object, so we don't need to do any labeling right yet. But on this, obviously we got to change the text for this, and we'll call it text. You can just if, you didn't, if I went too fast there, you just, all I did is highlight the text spline and then change that to text. Uh, and then let's drag text out away from it and we'll take cool and we'll move it over here. And all I'm doing here is pushing the x-axis for both of these objects. Kind of get them away from each other a little bit here. Move the camera around. Just We can always animate the camera later. Okay. Now we need to combine these because this effect, as far as I know, and by no means am I an expert on this, uh, as far as I know, it has to be with combined objects. It can't be, uh, you know, everything has to be, um, you know, made editable. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the first one and highlight both items, and then you can press C on your keyboard. And do the same thing with the second one. Highlight both items and press C on the keyboard. And then on the first one, we're going to um, expand everything. And the easy way to expand everything is you can just right click on the, the highest hier hierarchy there and uh, unfold all. And then while everything is unfolded, highlight everything. You can then right click and say connect and delete and discard what we had from before and do the same thing for the second one highlight everything right click and connect and delete so now we've got two solid objects and with these objects now if you wanted to rename them you could just call this cool and call this text all right I'm sure there's a lot better ways of doing it, but that's how we'll do it today. So now let's create the function and 
One thing we're going to need is a particle geometry in this scene. So we'll go over to Objects and then to Thinking Particles and Create Particle Geometry. And we'll add Cool into that and we'll add Text into that. And I don't think the order matters at all, but just to be thorough, we'll have Cool above Text. Now let's create the expression using Expresso uh, and we'll create a null object for that so let's go over to here and create a new null object and then we'll right click on the null object and add a Cinema 4D tag down to Expresso and inside this all we have to do is right click anywhere add a new node for thinking particles thinking particle generator and the peep blurb. There. And we'll just move this window aside so that we can highlight it and get its properties over here. Now you'll see a window over here where it says objects. Let's just take and drag cool into it. And we'll take and drag text into it right underneath it. And we got all these little plus signs and stuff that really don't do anything right yet. So now let's animate it and the way we can do that is just in your timeline I'll move this window over here a little bit go make sure you're at the very beginning of your timeline and set a keyframe there now you, you can use the keyframe button sometimes what I like to do is hold control and then click the little circle next to animation phase and uh, it should turn red and then go to the end of your animation and we'll set this animation phase to 100 and when you click off it this little circle should turn yellow and indicating that a uh, property has changed since the last keyframe and then hold control and click it and it should turn red now if we were to rewind and play this it starts to animate our text around but it doesn't really look all that good and we got all these little plus signs all over the place plus the word text was already there the word cool was already there and it just doesn't look right so if we rewind that again um, what we can do to fix that is first thing let's shut the existing text off let's go to cool up here and just make these red just click them twice basically and what that does is it gets it rid of the viewport and it will get rid of uh, uh, it upon rendering and the reason we're getting rid of those is because we no longer need them the particle geometry is now going to be forming the word cool and it will also form the word text so we don't need to see those anymore okay so now if we were to play that at least we don't see them but it's still just this wireframe type thing nothing really has a lot of dimension or or uh, weight to it at all. So we can go in the PBLRP function here and click cool and then let's change the count to 150 and we'll change the thickness to say 5%. This will just create a lot more particles and they're all gonna have you know some chunkiness to them. Okay so then over here in objects do the exact same thing for text. Change this to 150 and change the thickness to 5%. Obviously, toy around with those to get the perfect setting. Um, and that's actually just about it. Uh, if you now click off the null object here and just hit play, everything should go into place. and this animation is considerably faster than the animation that you saw in the video but you can adjust the timeline on yours to be anything you'd like um, you know I think I had mine even at five or ten seconds I don't know um, but uh, that'll slow it down you get a lot better and then you can also I'll just close this window here you know zoom in a little bit here and kinda get down here a little bit and you'll see stuff falling into place. Then you animate the camera around to start on cool and end on text. 
throw some motion blur onto it. And that's the basic concept.